everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you all, all the uh, products I've been loving in the past month of February. So let's get started. So first I'll start off with skincare. Um, this past month my face has been breaking out a lot. I don't know if it's just like stress and just like me being a bad person and not cleaning my face as good as I should. Um, but yeah, so I've been using this for the past month. I really like it. It's the uh, Glam Glow Super Mud. A clearing treatment it just looks like this this is just like a little uh, trial size of it um, but I really like it I haven't used a lot of it either I just do it for spot treatment I don't put it all over my face I think that also kind of helps like save the product or normally do is just get like a q-tip and then just dab it onto like my problem areas like my chin has been breaking out a lot lately and like right under my nose um and kind of right here too so yeah I just kind of spot tree uh, wherever I see like as it breaking out and then usually by the next day after using this it goes away and it clears up so this has been like a lifesaver for the past month and then the next thing is the philosophy hope in a jar this is also a trial size I did however buy the uh, full size um, a few days or like a few weeks ago and this is the their moisturizer hope in a jar um, it just looks like this it's really nice i really like it i've been using this for actually a couple of months and it's still going strong there's still quite a bit in there i don't know if it's gonna focus on it or not but there's still quite a bit in there um so yeah moving on to like face stuff uh this is the Too faced hangover x um face primer i really like this uh this is made with coconut water electrolytes and probiotics this looks like this. Um, a lot of people have been talking about it. I believe this is a new product um, that was released recently. It's silicone free too. But this is really nice. Um, sometimes I just like to use this in the morning and not even on days when I'm not wearing my any makeup. It's just because it's so like, it just, it wakes you up. It just makes you feel like a new person. So I really like this. I've been using it like every day. Just something about it is so soothing and so like refreshing. I don't know if it's like the uh, coconut water and all that that's infused in it. And then next thing is the Sonia Kashuk uh, Radiant Plus Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade beige. 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 And it just looks like this. I really like this on my like lazy days. It's just a really nice uh, tinted moisturizer. It actually has quite a good coverage too considering it is a tinted moisturizer. Um... So yeah, I really like this. I usually just put this like rub it in with my fingers. I don't really use a makeup brush or a beauty blender with it um, because it is from my lazy days. And then I just put like some translucent powder to set it and I'm good. All right, and the next thing is this Vita Liberata uh, two to three week tan mousse. I really like this one. Um, I first start used the lotion one. So I do have both of them, but I was running low on my lotion. So I decided to try this one out of the tan mousse. I really like it. I don't know. I think I like the lotion a little bit more, um, but this tan mousse one is really nice and I've been using it a lot lately. Because, you know, you got to keep up that tan. You know, it's cold outside, but we're still looking like we've been tanning out in the sun and playing out of the pool all day. The next product is this uh, Maybelline Master Conceal uh, con Camouflaging uh, Concealer and it's like this. I got it in the shade Light. Um, this is a new product, actually. Um, today I used it to, like, highlight my face. I didn't use it under my eyes, um, like I usually do. I just use it on, like, right here, my nose and my chin. Um, I used my NARS Creamy Concealer, um, on, under my eyes today. But yeah, it's just really blendable. Uh, I really like this color because it's how bright it is. The next product, I think I mentioned this in my January favorites. I can't remember, but I'm going to mention it again. And this is the Becca Shimmer Shimmering Skin Perfector uh, Press Powder in the shade Rose Gold. It's just so pretty, like, oh my god. Like, yes. Like, y'all see that like it's just so perfect like mm. it's a huge uh there is a quite a bit of a price difference so i wanted to know which one was better um so this one was like six dollars five to six dollars no more than 
eight dollars for sure and then the anastasia is 20 or 23 it's in the 20s for sure um so yeah i got this in the shade brunette um because i didn't want to get like the chocolate or anything like that because it has kind of like brown or i mean black undertones to those and i need something with like an ashy or like a brown undertone um just because it'll, it looks better with my red hair um so yeah just looks like this. I really like this though. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, I still use my Anastasia uh, dip brow pomade just because like I'm so used to grabbing for it. Um, but I did use this quite a bit in the month of uh, February and it does last like the Anastasia ones do. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I feel like this one is a bit more... I feel like this one has a bit more of like an oil to it. So I could see that that's really good, like an upper hand because uh, it just kind of has like, I don't know, it seems more moist, moisturized, moisturized than the Anastasia ones because I noticed after a while the Anastasia ones, they kind of dry out after a few months. So we'll see in a few months how this is going, um, but it just seems a bit more creamier than the other ones. Uh, Then the next one is this uh, NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow, and it's in the shade Golden Peach. Um, the, I bought the whole collection, but this is just one of my favorite colors out of it. I haven't really figured out a way to depot these yet because they're not like in an actual uh, pan like the other ones are. <laughs> like how just like pigmented that is. Like, but this is just such a pretty color. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah. Alright, and then the next thing is a lipstick, and this is uh, the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. I talked about these in my last uh, favorites video, and I think I included them in a lips in a like in a swatch video I think yes I did I mean Anastasia swatch video um I got this one though I made another order because I bought like a bunch of like crazy colors from there I didn't buy any of the nudes and then I like saw the swatches for the nudes and I kept on seeing them and I kept on seeing them and I was like okay I gotta get them because I need them so I'm wearing Lovely on my lips right now. I really like it. So that's also one of my favorites. But this is the shade Pure Hollywood, which is just like a really, really pretty nude. Um, I was wearing, I was wearing this. It's just a really pretty nude, and it looks like that. It's just kind of like a your lips, but better. Like it's just so pretty. Like, oh my god. So yeah. So I've been in love with these lipsticks. Alright, and then the last thing are these blushes. These are the Makeup Geek blushes. I have a couple more. Actually, that wouldn't fit in this Z palette right here. I have two more. Um, these shades are Smitten and Summer Fleen. That are in here. But anyway, so those, cool. But the ones I want to talk about that are my favorite are these three right here. So it's a uh, Spellbound. Yeah. Yeah, Spellbound Infatuation. And then this one is called, if I can get it on the palette, Bliss. I really like these um, just because they're kind of like your cheeks, but better color. <laughs> if that makes sense, but I really like mixing a spellbound and infatuation together. I've been doing that in quite a few of my videos. Um, but they're just it's such a pretty color. It's kind of like I think what I like about it so much that's them mixed together. I think what I like about them so much is because they remind me of a matte version of Kat Von D's Wish. Because hers has kind of a sheen to it. Um it's not like shimmer or like glitter on your uh, uh cheeks. I think these are like a matte, I think the reason why I like this color or this combo so much is because it reminds me of Kat Von D's Wish but like a matte version because hers does have a sheen to it. It's not necessarily like chunks of glitter or anything like that but it does have a nice sheen to it so 
I really like making the mixing these sometimes just to kind of have a matte cheek color. All right, and then the last product is the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal uh, Mascara. Um, I've been lately using my Better Than Sex one, but I've been kind of getting into the groove of using drugstore uh, mascaras again. Just ones that are always have always been my favorite, like the Falsies, and then also this one, the Pumped Up Colossal. Alright guys, that was my February favorites. If y'all have any... Alright guys, that was my favorite... Alright guys, that was my February favorites. Favorites. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was all my favorite. <gasps> Alright guys, so that was my February favorites. Um, if y'all have... Alright guys, and that was my February favorites. And be sure to comment down below what y'all's favorites have been for this past month because I'm always looking to try new products. Uh, favorites videos are like my favorite videos to watch and film because it's just like, a lot, oh, like sharing with your friends, like everything that you love and then like you see what other people love and then you're just like, oh my god, I gotta buy it and then you buy everything and then you spend all your money on makeup and that's my life. Um, anyway, but just comment down below any other video suggestions you have and also your favorites that you've been loving for this past month. Um, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to see daily videos. And have a great day. Bye.